be his gay man? Why you be always having gay people on your life? Y'all niggas gay too. I'm sorry. And no, nobody want to be real. Everybody on some look, some like shit, right? You and then let me tell y'all women something. These men that fucked all of y'all. They don't fuck you, they don't fuck your friends, they don't fuck your sisters, they don't fuck your cousin. What do they have left? The dog. They gonna get them some dick. Them niggas at home beating your ass doing all that girl. He fucking Tim around the corner. Yes. Uh-huh. Are you fucking Charles? Don't play with me. So don't come on here talking about who gay and who not, girl. You would be amazed too motherfucking gay. You been fucking. I'm scared of these dicks. I ain't lying. Then they get so upset when you call them gay. They be in their feelings. Bitch, what you in your feeling for? You know you were looking at that boy. Dick in the booty, little boy. Dick in the booty. Dick in the booty, little boy. You, play, you want some dick? Yeah, I said what I said. I mean what I mean. Yeah, they getting fucked. The hardest nigga I have bent over. Mm-hmm. And that go for most of them. Y'all women wonder why your man be talking to you crazy and calling you all kind of bitches and hoes. He calling you all these bitches and hoes, girl, because he want to be a girl, too. What the fuck don't you understand about that? He be disrespecting you because he want to be a girl, too. Period. Come home slapping the shit at you, uh, uh, fucking off on you, because he ain't sure of himself. So don't be feeling bad now. Yeah, I be out here crying about another bitch. You better be crying about the other nigga. Okay? Because it's that other nigga that got him stuck like Chuck. Okay? You know a man know how to suck another man dick better than you. You ain't got nothing on him. You ain't got nothing on him. So how these folks be coming through here with all that bullshit? I'm mean, letting you know. These men don't like y'all. They don't like y'all. And I wish they'd just come on and be real. Every man ain't gay, baby. Most of them are, though. <laughs> Majority of them are. I'm sorry you ain't know. He wouldn't be ready right here. Why I'm not married? Why don't nobody want me? Girl, because he want the boy. He don't want you. He want what you want. <laughs> you know, that's terrible. It's, it's terrible, but you just got to laugh at it because it's the truth. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll be out here like I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, his homeboy a bad bitch too. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. I just wish I could have me somebody that ain't gay. I don't want no gay dick. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, but I'm not gay. I want some dick. I want what they want. Me and them in the same category because I want the dick. They want the dick. But I can't be fighting the man about the dick. But I want some dick. I don't want no bitch. That bitch can't do nothing for me. Yes, that's who he want. He don't want you. I, I wish they did want y'all, though. I swear I do. I wish they would just go back to want us, but it's not about us. And then let me tell y'all told something else. It's the secret in the thrill, see? It's the secret, see? The boys know how to shut the fuck up. Y'all hoes talk too much. So it's the secret, too. It's the secret society. Yeah, they got a secret motherfucking society, bitch. Ain't that yet, huh? Uh. Mm-hmm. They got a secret fucking society. Y'all be running around talking about what's wrong with you. No, bitch. He don't want you. Yeah, I know I hang around a lot of gays. Stop playing. And no, I'm not gay, but I have a lot of gay friends. And I know what's up. I know what's up, okay? But I'm not here to expose you gay brothers who's been fucking out because I don't want y'all to kill me. See what I'm saying? These niggas kill you. They think you know they business. But I don't want to let y'all know is. You know that song, you're my little secret. And that's how we should keep it. And that's how them niggas playing, baby. I don't know. I can't tell me what's going on. Let Miss Mama say, download the app. You'll see who gay. No, you won't. Them niggas be short, high in their face. And then, let me tell y'all girls something else. The gay boys got better apps than we do. Let me tell you something. The gay boys got an app. They can just, like, we, we right here in my house. You put the, um, the zip code or something in. I don't know exactly how it go because I don't have it. But you put a zip code or something in. It tell you the area, and it pops up a red dot. 
it pops up a red dot to let you know where they at. Then they pull up, do what they do. One nigga, one, one of my gay friends put up on this gay boy. This boy, he's supposed to be real. He was like, no cameras, nigga. Put your camera up. I say, put your camera up, nigga. And this nigga say, put your camera up. You can't even show who the fuck over you. And they be secrets. <laughs> Period. And they get fucked and go home. Mm-hmm. And if I'm offended people on the live, then I'm sorry. You know, get offended. I don't give a fuck. I've been told y'all. I up with 10% of the men that straight. 10%. Okay, to my gay sisters and brothers, I'm sorry. I'm, expo I'm exposing y'all business. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for exposing y'all business. Now my gay friends finna be mad at me because I'm throwing the dirt in the sand. Like, we're not celebrating happy 4th of July, baby. It's not 4th of July for us. It's Black Lives Matter for the day. Today is Black Lives Matter Day. The fuck? You don't even know the download. You don't know them. You don't know if they down low. You don't know if these dudes down low. They're not telling you they down low. And some of y'all women can't even see the down low in them. Because they go over over to try to be harder than thou. So that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be careful. Hello. What's, What's uh, going on, Mr. Connor? Nothing that much. What's going on with you, sister? Loving your conversation that you have. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone is safe, doing well. Yes, doing the quarantine. Yeah, I love these conversations you have about, like, download men and stuff because I'll be trying to hook my girlfriends up on a lot. I have a lot of uh, girlfriends, straight girlfriends and stuff, and they ask me all the questions about gay men, download, this, this, and that. And I always say... A woman or a father or a parent know their child is gay when they when their little kids playing around the house because our mannerism is different. So you could look at a little child and say, "Oh, he gonna have a little sugar in his tank." And what mm -hmm. women and parents need to realize is it is what it is, and they need to let it be. Right. And if you let it be at an early age and let them know there's nothing are. wrong my with it, my thing be is people off. need to stop. People need to start accepting people for who they are. And that's just my thing because the people will start accepting the people for who they are, then people wouldn't be so ashamed. I'll be here, I'll be so of being gay, of being gay, gay, you gay, you gay, you be living your home. truth. And for exactly. me, it's like America, like I know it's Black Lives Matter and it's All Lives Matter, but America have this. Like, I just want people to be who they are it's because easier. if you can be who you are, then guess what? You have been there, stopped a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of bullshit. Be who you are. But you okay, know what? Your mama might want you to be married to a woman. Fuck what your mama wanted. You know that's not gonna make you happy. But the mamas and the daddies need to accept it when them little kids are kids. Because every little gay child have her. A parent say, "Oh, they got a little sugar in their tank." That's who they are. <laughs> then they won't worry, worry about growing up. Yeah, I'm gonna some. I'm gonna try to do some of that. Nothing matters. Just do a I am. I pray. Huh? Now, I can say this. When I was like. Before I really came out into the world, like to the gay scene and stuff, and I was going to a lot of church events, I was in a choir directing and everything. When I first like went to my first gay house party, I think at least eighty percent of the men in there was all from the church. Mm. And at this point, I'm about maybe almost sixteen years old, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, why do all these people look familiar to me? Well, when I realized these are the deacons and the pastors and the choir musicians and and all of them, cool pit members, up in a party giving wads of ones and these dancing balls and dicks and shit, and they slanging them around. I'm like, oh shit, like it's a whole slew of gay people in the church. I didn't know this until I went out. But as I started going out, I started realizing there was a lot more download men, uh, game bangers, this and this and that, that and that and this, all in the whole scene. And like when the like was the gay term is like oh that's trade, they like to see trade. I'm yeah, that's trade. Because if a gay man has sex with you, he has sex with somebody else. So you're not the first one that the man or the trade has sex with. He's just yeah. trading your asshole in and out or his asshole in and out so y'all can keep busting. I uh, really, I uh, really, he been hunting since he was a child. He just had to get this woman to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
you know, and that's because we, we, and, we, when we're born, we it's a it's a it's a it's a darkness over being gay or bisexual. So they gotta fake the funk, and that's where women get hurt by these down low men because they faking the funk because they don't want to get disowned by their family. Exactly, but I just feel like even with that, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Like be yourself. <laughs> Like, if you're a down-low brother and you know you got a boyfriend, just go be with your boyfriend. Let that woman be free. Let her go. Don't you hold her. It is. Because you know you really don't want her anyway. It'd be they don't. You, want her. you don't even want her. But they don't want her, but they got to play the funk because of their family. It's the backlash of the family and their friends that they get. Like, don't nobody want to get this on from their family just being who they are. But that's what happens. Because when I was coming out, girl, there was 12, 11... 13 year old kids, and was a lot of them out in the San Diego area where I'm from. And they was uh, gay, but they was all put out at a young age. They was homing, they was selling, they was stealing, they was doing it all because they had to survive because their parents put them out because they was gay. Right. You know, and I thought it was fucked up and scary, but I think when we were born, you sit back and if you're watching your kids, you can watch and see your kids playing with the Barbie dolls and not the G.O. Joe men. So you can say, oh, my baby may be gay. So when your child gets older and they understand, you talk to them and say, look, this is what's going on with you. And this is what people are going to do with you when you go outside the world. But you have to be strong. You have to love yourself, respect yourself, because people want to be cruel to you because you are what they call different or you are what they call gay or sissy. And if no one can realize it starts when we are children to get accepted by our family members and for ourselves, when the men get older and start having all these women and kids and they find out, oh, my husband is down low, he did this, he did that, don't blame the gays, blame your asses because when kids are born, you can watch and see. Everything comes from the home. So if can you I teach them you the right way. Can yes. I ask you something? Uh-huh. Do you think it's possible, right? This is something I want to know. Do you think it's possible to fight the feeling? To fight the feeling? Do you think it's possible to fight the feeling? Like, say, for instance, you know, you're growing up in life, you know, uh, your thing, and, and you may even have a a little twinkle for somebody, but do you think uh, it's possible for you to fight the feeling? Uh, yes, you can fight the feeling. No, I'm talking about fight the feeling. Don't, don't even be that way. Just choose pussy over this. Well, you know what? You can fight the feeling all you want, but if it's who you are, it's just who you are. And not just like fight the feeling. Once you have some pussy, you're going to want some more pussy. Once you have some ass, you're going to want some more ass. If you have both, you're going to go to both. It just depends on the person and how strong their will is. There's a lot of things we fight. We may want to go out there and be a hoe on the corner. But we fight and not to be a hoe on the corner. We fight not to be a damn cokehead. You can fight and have the willpower to do what you want to do if it's in you. But if you know for a fact you are gay or bisexual, there's no fighting that. That's just who you are. And don't fight something that you can't solve because it's just who you are. You were just born. It's not like we get born and we slide through the pussy talking about, oh, let me go and pick this straight card. Or let me pick this bike card. Or let me pick this gay uh, card. No, we're just born. We are just born. I knew at the age of four that I had attraction for a, a, a male friend of my mom's and dad's. And I had attraction for one of my friends, uh, they, they girlfriends. I mean, one of my cousins, her girlfriend, she hung around with. I knew it was something about the two of them that struck me. And as I got older, the feeling has never changed. I don't know what it was about him. I don't know what it was about her. But it had drawn me into both so of you them. Liked the, you liked the, the girl, too? Yeah, I had a lot of girl arms and a lot of pussy in my high school days. I just started dating men until a girl I was messing around with, um, supposed to have got an abortion. Um, she didn't say it was mine. I asked, she said it wasn't mine, but she said she also didn't have no abortion. But it fucked my head up because I'm thinking, oh, this is, she got pregnant. I didn't know she was pregnant. Her friend spilled all her business. And I knew me and her were just knocking the boots, you know, for a minute now. And I'm like, and I'm not using protection. So I was thinking it was mine. She said it wasn't, but it fucked me up mentally in my head until I couldn't trust women on that situation no more. So I started going over into see what was going on on the gay side. Because I, I always had feelings, but I never experienced it. I didn't start experiencing anything until I was about 16. I lived with a guy. I mean, with, yeah, with a guy. With a girl, I was getting caught at nine years old. Ooh. So, but yeah. 
it's a lot of it's it is a lot of straight men out there or bi men, gay men. A lot of a lot of shit goes down in the gym. Uh, I've been to a couple of gyms out here in the Los Angeles area and walked into the bathroom to go pee, but I seen two tenis, four pair of tennis shoes uh <laughs> looking like twins, but they just different. So that somebody was in that second dance. Uh, a lot of that goes on in the gym. Dang. This shit crazy. And with the women too. I ain't gonna fake the funk. I know a couple of lesbians who go who went to go to the gym and they find them a little piece on the side too. So women ain't uh women ain't off the off the radar. We can't make it all about the gay men. It's a lot of down low women out there as well. Because they have the same situation we have of getting disowned by their families. Mm, 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 mm. So at this day and age, hell, I feel like this. We all live. I just don't want no bitch. Doctors. You just what? I don't want no bitch. I know you don't want no bitch. You don't want no bitch to do shit for you, but massage you into your hair. That's <laughs> If that. <laughs> Tell her to massage you in a certain area. Don't go here. Don't go there. I want me some whole dicks. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, well, you know. Something about the penis. I think, I hope everybody be safe, whatever they do. But you know, it's just fucked up out here. It's very fucked up out here. The world is fucked up. We as a nation is fucked up. We it's just fucked, fucked up. up. Because it's so, it's so sad, like, how dick do women. Like, it's like power in the dick. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then I can only imagine what it do to a man. You feel me? So it's just fucked up. It's, it's 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 a lot harder for a black man, a black gay man, a black bi man. Because uh, we have so much on our heads and shoulders until we can't even say the sun is shining without somebody telling us anything they don't want to tell us. You know, it's, it's, it's a fucked up situation. But one thing I do know is me, myself, and I, I never really cared about what people thought or said about me because that never stopped me from eating. Um, right. But I do know, at some point, since we are alive, we are going to die. I don't give a fuck how you look around it, how you try to play it through. You don't know when, you don't know how, but one day for a fact, we're going to die. And I would rather live my life happy and do what I feel is going to make myself happy than to be worried about some bullshit with some other people who's sleeping with what, they ain't fucking with me. I don't even give a damn. That's why you think? I don't give a damn. I be, I'm just me. You got to be you. The woman I like, I'm... Look, I, you know, I met a girl one time, and I'm going to get off here so you can talk to your other fans and stuff. Um, I met somebody years ago. I'm 43 now. Um, I met someone, like, in my tw late 20s, and me and her had a straight conversation. I said, girl, look, I do drag. I have slept with men. I'm very much single. I'm very loyal. If me and you got together, I'm going to want you. I'm not going to want to fuck you in your ass. I ain't going to want to go mess around with no other man and do all that crazy bullshit. Because if you're mine, you're mine. I'm yours. You, you know, whatever. But it, it wouldn't work with that situation because there's always a friend or a family member who may find out the information that want to say everything. And but that's why I tell it people. Even, it shouldn't me, even matter, though. It shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't matter because it ain't their business. Because it See, ain't their business. People understand your business is your business. That's your business. That's why we have social security numbers. Mm -hmm. It's your damn business. Would you take a woman back now? Would you would you would you ever consider going back to a woman? Absolutely. If she gonna make me happy. And I don't mean sex wise, I mean happy in my life. Like I'm really happy. I'm really content with myself. I'm very set in my you know, I, I have my life the way I want it. I'm very cool and very happy. If she gonna come in and bring that to me and not the drama shit, I'm good with anybody. I don't care your race, your size. You got one eye in the middle of your forehead. I'm a happy, cool, weed smoking person. Honestly, I love to smoke weed. I'm always kiki falling out. If you can't make me happy with that type of stuff, then we ain't going to be together. I don't care what your sex is. Right. But you would goddamn go back and fuck with your woman. Yeah, but I won't fuck with no man, though. Huh? I won't fuck with no man, though. Yeah, if you fuck with the woman, you shouldn't be fucking with me. I wouldn't. I'll just, it's just no need for me to. Why? Well, I got you. Because <laughs> she can do everything. Everything. Making me happy is one. I like to have fun. If you're going to make me have fun, then we're going to have a good ass time. And we're going to be lit. <laughs> that <boy. laughs> 
Well, I want to say thank you for chatting with me, Shekana. I do. You know, uh, I always love to chat with you. Yeah, I thought I was about to get in drag, I think, in a minute, Jeff. You know you my motherfucking buddy. Don't play with me. Yes. Forever. I love you for that. I appreciate you. And I love um, you, too. And I thank you for coming on here. Let me know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? And let me know what you would consider a woman again. Because I guess yeah. after that, that, with all these men, these men end up still like being shit either, huh? For real. Some people like that cake to eat it, too. But sometimes something is spoiled on one of them sides. Of the but ain't that eat. crazy like how... We share something in common. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, my phone. We sh we share something in common because it's like men play drag on y'all too. All the time. That's what I'm, ain't that crazy? All the time. I'm gonna say this, and I know it's a lot of people want to talk to you, and I don't want to hold your time. In. Well, I'm not really worried about them right now. I'm talking to you. Okay. We got okay. something. Okay. We have the whole conversation uh -oh. that we started early this morning. Ain't got shit to do with them. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I just want to share. Okay, but you know, I was telling. I had told a couple of my homegirls about the the dating apps on the phone. I said, what you do is you 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 get the gay apps, mm -hmm. and everybody got a fake profile. True enough, it ain't about the profile. It's about to find out who is in your radius, who is in your six feet. That's what it's for. Yeah, I had told my own, don't worry about who, oh, no, you're trying to see who's right underneath your armpit. You turn the notification sound off. Everybody got their back on the damn phone. You find out. And if that motherfucker come on and it says somebody, somebody is 0 0.3 away from you, they either in your house or next door. Period. You pull period. that bitch down. And they, got the and you go, they, don't got, they don't have no app like that for women, though. Mm. They ain't got no app like that, but it's only for it's only for the gay community. Cause the gay people always put the gay people put them shit to hook up. <sighs> the gay people will come up with a way to get some dick in the ass. They Here. come comes up with a way. They come up with a way. I promise you. They so what is that? What is that feeling that you get up your ass? Like what is that feeling? Cause when I done tried to get fucked, my ass get hurt. <laughs> I can't deal with it. It's like real bad, like shaking in my bone shit. I don't like it. You know it. what? Yo, so, the man you was with, he wasn't gentle, and he probably just went up in there like it was a pussy. And men need to understand, a butthole is not a pussy. It's not. It's a. It's painful. That is an asshole. That has some grit in there and some shit. And if they clean that asshole out, they're going to have some shit. Is your water clean? No. That damn, this is an asshole. And this is a pussy. And not saying that the pussy wide open, but the pussy is, you go in there and they bang no, up the pussy it, be tight that. too, baby. So that's the why you was hurt. The pussy be tight. The pussy is the muscle. Don't do that. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> the the pussy be tight. Don't you do that now. I'm the not saying. The pussy is there are some tight pussies. There are some loose pussies and there's some tight Now, it's some loose booties too. It's some loose booties too. Hello, 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 hello. It's some asses say the same thing. Green, it's some booties do the same room. thing. Hello, hello, hello. It sure is. It sure is. It no, sure talk is. I'm talking about you. I got to stand up. I'm not now. I ain't talking about this bad, uh, bad open pussy. I'm just now, trying to give it a demonstration. We got some good pussy. There's a lot of women out here that we are tight. Pussy. It's a lot of women out here that's not close the other hand a little bit more. Don't open this up like that. I don't just say open like that. I ain't even saying that. You didn't even let me get to the next stage. Even when we finish having babies, off. even when women have babies, the pussy go back. It's not that. I know Exactly. This. What I'm saying is a pussy is more looser than an asshole. No, it ain't. Yes, it, that's why your asshole was hurting when he went up in there. That's okay. You wouldn't feel nothing. My pussy's still tight. I'm sure it is. And a lot, <laughs> of, these girls, and a lot of these girls' pussies on here are tight. Don't do that. They are. I'm not saying all. No, you just girl. you just insulted us a little bit. No. <laughs> you did. You just insulted the fuck out of all of us on here, and it's nothing but women. No, on you take it that you way. Tell us you gonna get ass like this. You didn't let me get to the second You didn't let me get to the second part before you said, "Hold up." You didn't let me go to the next part. Go to the next part. Go and hit me with the next part. Okay, asshole, pussy. Okay, I'm tighten it up like a little that. bit more. Tighten the pussy up a little bit more. Okay. Not that tight. It can be just a little looser. 
Okay. How about that? That's good hole? for the pussy. I like that. I like that. Okay. Idea. okay that's better. Right. Okay. It's, it's, but when it goes inside, the pussy will expand, right? That's a muscle, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the asshole, but the asshole ain't really getting played in like so that. So tell me how the ass, when you go in that ass, how it do? How ass? <laughs> when you go in that booty hole, tell, show me on your fingers how you got to get in there. <laughs> no, how do you get in there with the finger? Show oh, me. you got to go slow. You have to play and work yourself in there. You can see, I'm going this way so y'all can see. You have to go slow. People like to do that. You can't do that. You have to go slow. And they like to use spit. Spit is not lube. So you have to make so sure you have the right lubricant to go in. It has to go spit. slow. Huh? You can't use spit. No. I, 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 I don't know why people like to do I know it's an old thing people been doing, but not today time too. You really can't use no spit with Corona going around and gets uh, Corona in your asshole. Mm -hmm. So you got, don't let them use spit. They may I, ain't get, I, baby, I ain't get fucked in my ass. My life is too crushing. This shit hurt too bad, baby. My ass is lit to shit, and that's what's gonna come out of that some shit. I'm not putting no booty. I'm not putting this in my booty. Don't even put your thumb in my booty. Don't play with my booty. Leave my ass alone. I'm dead ass. Don't fuck with my ass. <laughs> that feel we talking just in general, sister. In don't general. Fuck don't fuck with my booty. My booty. Yeah. Yeah. Women, a lot of women out there is, is getting into it. Make sure you all dish your ass off like you dish your pussies. I done heard a couple women tell me they like to get their they, they like their ass, but I don't like it. Uh, my, a couple of women said they're ready to get fucked in their butts and their pussy. They, I said, why? Because I can't get pregnant. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. A lot of them. I so they, so to get fucked in their booty, they need the lube. They, you need lube. You need lube. I think lube would be help better for someone who's doing it than spit. Or uh, they putting a condom on the damn, I mean, a condom on the What type of sensation is it? What type of sensation do the ass do, though? Like, what do it do for you? Is it the trembling what, effect? Like, what is it that it do for you? What do you mean the trembling? It ain't trembling in there. I'm saying, what's going on? <laughs> what is the... What is the glory that you get out of going in the butt? I guess it's the sex. But the sex and pain is not glory. But it's not It's not pain if, if it's something that you want. You know, it, 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 it's... it's even though it's a different part of your body, it's the asshole. But it's like if you in your, with your boy and you feeling that type of way, then you know it ain't gonna hurt when y'all have start having sex because it's a feeling that you want. Your body is on a on a on a on a level of want to get you know touched and feel. So it's not gonna hurt someone who wants it. I hate I can't explain it to you. Like I have a you know, I have a vagina and when you go in the vagina, it's like you could go in and it's like this little thing on top of the vagina, you know. Mm -hmm. It kinda gets hard and it sticks up. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like the it kinda go out and stick. Right. So it's a good feeling like when the dick, you know, is inside and it's rubbing and you know, you contrasting that thing, you know what I'm saying? That's a good feeling for okay, that part. So when it's going inside of a man's butthole, mm -hmm. uh it's it's like a uh, it's like a massage because it's your prostate in there. It's a massage feel. A massage, no. Because it's going that shit in. Hurt. But because you had a bad experience, and I'm that's not, not, it's not for, ever, ever, and it's I'm not, not for everybody. It's, I'm not it's ever not having another everybody. experience. Though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not doing the experience no more. That was it for me. You ain't got to do it no more. Don't do it no more because you didn't like the first time. Uh uh, that but shit like took my goddamn. I was hemorrhaging, about to die. This shit was years ago, but I still remember it, and it just wasn't right. It was like I was being sodomized, and I don't appreciate this shit. Yeah, no, if you feel like that, then you don't do nothing like that. You, see, sex and love ain't supposed to hurt like that. It's supposed to hurt good, but not hurt to where you feel like somebody's taking advantage of your job. I felt like I was being sodomized. It was just not right. <laughs> don't do that. I don't want you to feel like that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would you never, you ain't got to worry but... about it. I would never feel like that no more. If you want to know, if you want to make your man big toe, do one of these. Yeah. What you do is, 
if you go like that, and they, a lot of them are scared to do it. But if you do anything to that, that hole, and they about to come, watch how they just tense the fuck up and that shit hit the ceiling. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a muscle back Wait there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So when, <laughs> when I'm having sex with a man, and I'm fucking him, and before he finna nut, take my hand and touch his booty hole? Yeah, if you start doing that to it, that's gonna keep going, oh, 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 because it's a whole nother situation. It's still a, uh, it's still, I can't think of the word I'm saying, but it's, it's a, uh, oh, it's, that's it's, a fuck around, make her want to marry me. Yeah, that right there, because, whoa, it's a whole nother situation. Fuck around and make her want to marry me. Hey, I'm uh, shit okay. like that, ain't it? Put a ring on it, <laughs> because it just, it just intensified the, the outcome of it. Now, every man is not for it. Every man ain't, you know, really, they just, whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's still part of a, it's still part of sex. But how are you they, getting back there playing with his ass if, like, you riding his dick? That's impossible. Oh, you saying No, it ain't. ain't. You riding it. Put your hand back there. You wipe your ass when you shit. Put this ball with his asshole right there. Put your hand back there. Hit the play with the ball. Slide the thing on the arm. Watch that. Boop. You're pregnant. So you supposed to do it like you touching the balls <laughs> and you touching the asshole. You, they both they hanging. The balls are hanging down by the hole. So when you grabbing the balls, slide your finger. But that's if y'all into that. Don't do it if he ain't, you know, and you're not going inside of his hole. It's just the smooth, the, the touching of it. It was just, whoa, and they give him one of those. Oh, yes. Oh. I can't tell you how many times there's probably some straight men that probably jacked off and had their finger tapping the assholes. Whack, 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 tap, 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 it's done. So you think some men be at home jacking their dick Don't. and touching their ass? They be at home jacking their dick, touching their asses, and playing with them nipples? It's a, it's a, you know. So, a hold wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so a man really like his nipples. So a man. <laughs> so <laughs> these men be having sensation in their nipples too. Yes, 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 yes. That ain't just so these men nipples, you know? be, these men nipples be feeling like women when they get their titties sucked. That is vice versa. Yeah, that's no, yeah. If somebody hit, if you rub against your titty or your nipple, it's still a sensation there. Mm. Yeah. Well, I didn't know a man you know, had a sensation there because I'm not a man. Yeah, so we have the same, like, you know, little soft spot, weak spots that a woman have because this is part of the body. But yeah, that's, that's a lot of, that's natural for a man to grab his nipple because they, he, it is just. <laughs> no, because you know, like a woman, when she has sex, of course, she grab her, you know, she might do something like that. But for me to turn around and see a man that I'm fucking behind me grabbing himself, I might have a fucking heart attack. But see, you grab yourself. He just playing. He just touching his nipple. He not grabbing. I bet not see stuff. him doing no shit like that. <laughs> I bet not see nobody fucking me from behind. He better not be standing up from behind fucking me doing his way. <laughs> that bitch better not be hitting me from the back doing this. I am going to have a fucking fit. I ain't going to bad to deal with him. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna turn around and be like, "Bitch, what are you doing? Bitch, what are you doing?" <laughs> I wish his motherfucking ass would. Girl, just go. Ooh, I wish he would. It ain't at the raw with the Chicago. That bitch better not be. That bitch, girl. Coffee, everyone. Just go. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, that everything. bitch better not. I'm going to turn around so, and be like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be trying to fuck. I'm going to be trying to fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Are you all right? <laughs> I'm a tired laughing girl. <laughs> 
Have you ever tried Popper's Shikana? Who? <laughs> I'm so dead with the, with, the, with the holding his titties for me. He fucking me from behind. I hold his titties. I bet not never be getting fucked from behind. I can't even play with his nipples. I am gonna fucking die. Girl, it got it's, so you have never none of your friends have told you about Popper and Shikana? No. And then let's go back to this ass shit, right? So Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Now I gotta go back to this ass shit. Okay, let's yeah. go. Let's go. So, so I'm not high as hell. I'm just kick in. I ain't high yet, Jim. Let me get there. I just have one blood. I'm in Cal. So when he fucking you. Just say he hitting you from the back. Is my okay. phone is my phone pausing? No, you can't right now. I'm sorry, cause it it's seems good. like on my end it keeps stopping and going in. No, you going in good. I okay. got you. So he fucking me from behind. I you saying take your hand, put it all the way up by his ass, and just tap the booty. Oh, now, now he's doing it from behind. I didn't know about behind. I don't know about digging <coughs> all the way back. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. that no, I didn't good. say dig. I said you just tap the booty. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm trying to figure out if he hit me from behind now, you're going to stick your arm way back there. Um, I don't know about that position, but I mean, it, 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 I'm pretty sure it has been done. But it just is. It's a sensitive, it's, it's not sensitive, but it's just a, it's another reaction. It's an extra, um, damn, what am I trying to say? I don't know, you need to figure it out. It's an extra, uh, when that, when you play back there, because that's like the nipple, you get the sensitive, it's a, uh oh. I, still, like, um, I, I like for my nipples to be sucked. I just didn't know the other man's doing that too. Yeah, you ain't ever sucked your boyfriend's nipples or nothing? I didn't kiss them on the chest or whatever. Oh, see, yeah, you gotta hit the nipple. <laughs> His big toe may stick up before her. I mean, I'm get... just, I'm just, I mean, it's cute. Sweat. <laughs> sensation. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's sensation, but it's deep. It's very deep. That shit deep. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know, sister. Play with the booty. Hard. Play with the start playing with the nigga booty and he'll marry you. I ain't say that. You will, they <laughs> say so I guess that's why I like how America they play with their ass. Would blow your fucking mind if, if if when it happens. Somebody had called me. I'm back now. Stop it! Right as a motherfucker, we can't see shit. Damn! Mm. I'm so sick of these fucking firecrackers in the fucking daytime. It's fucking bright. As What's poppers? Poppers, a little liquid form thing that comes in a bottle, and it gives you like a hairbrush. Um, they used to use it a lot back in the day with Studio Six uh, Fifty Four. Um, they used to sm like sniff it on the dance floor and give them like a hair rush. But it's also something that intensifies the sex. So you supposed to put this shit up your nose? You smell it. You don't sniff it. You don't sniff it. I mean, you don't like sniff it up. You just smell it, like you smell like a a little perfume bottle. Oh, and what did it do to you, girl? Make your fucking head pass out, make you fall out, and it intensifies the sex, and makes you just do things that you probably didn't think you could do. 
Then you so write do up both of y'all, so do both of the, the both of the parties do it, or just one person? Uh, it could be both. If both do it, both would do it. If not, one would do it. It is a very loud smell. A very loud smell. Um, some of the shit. You would sniff and your nose would touch the bottle and it burn your fucking nose. You wake up, you got a little blister bumps all around <laughs> your fucking nose. That ain't no shit you want to do. Hell no. But I know a lot of straight people do it though. I ain't never heard of that shit before. You make it's not even. Yes, girl, look up Studio 54 and look up Poppers. They used to fuck it up on the dance floor because it's like, you know, some of it makes you feel a little dizzy. Some of it makes you feel a whole lot of horns. Uh, and the shit is expensive. Yeah, I ain't never heard that shit. I don't want no shit like that. But just be careful. And you ain't got to tell me to be careful because I ain't fucking with you. I know, you know what you. I take? I take weed. And I smoke new points and I may have a drink every now and then. I'm not on out of here shit. Mm -mm. Me neither. I'm a, I smoke weed. That's why I love California. We have a lot of stores. I got seven around me. Uh, I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of water. And yeah. that's it. I can't, and I, I can't be on that other shit. This shit ain't for me. For me to be getting fucked up. Uh -uh. Oh, it sounds like a Dave Chappelle skit. Uh-oh. I can't do that. Yeah, but you'll find love one day, sister. I, pray I ain't trying to find fuck that shit, man. We I know you ain't trying to find it, but I, I know there's somebody out there for you. We had the end of the goddamn time, child. I ain't trying to find Jesus. What the hell is she talking about? We in the end of the world, you hear me? <laughs> so love <laughs> dying self. Hey, baby, we better it. find Jesus. That's all I can tell you. That's all I'm talking about. Finding love in Jesus and people. I tell I everybody I love their ass every day, baby. I'm promise you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get up in heaven and, and have a party, baby. I don't know what the hell going on with our world, but baby, you come out find I'm know. trying to find Jesus. I hear you. I, I let I, you know I, what I I'm trying you. to find. I talk my shit, I kick you high, but I'm trying to find Jesus. <laughs> you come out finding love. <laughs> Shit. Shit. It's you know, shit going on out here in the world, you crazy as hell, boy. I'm but you know, what? I, you know what? This, though, I feel like this. I, I've been single for at least 17 years, and I have loved it. I ain't never been single. Uh, when I turned 26 and got single finally, I said, no, ma'am. And I can't say I really enjoy being single. If I want to have a little woo-wow, I can have a little woo-wow. And I got my, I'm, I'm, I'm. I can't trust people. Hell no, you can't. You better watch your motherfucking back too with them. Yep. You so, it's so many deceiving motherfuckers out right here, girl. You bipolar. No, bitch, you are. No, nah, bitch, it's your ass. I, mean, I, can, I, mean, I can hear him tell me about how to net in the ass. I, I'm grown as fuck. I can have these conversations. That don't mean I got to go be a part of it. And, and like I said, long. I'm not spending no love. I'm trying to find Jesus. Because at the end of the day, get what? That's all you're going to have. What I choose? I choose dick or heaven. I choose heaven. I always choose heaven. I choose that's heaven. Why, what the hell that's why I'm still here. Like? I swear I'm scary. I'm scared. I ain't never been to hard drugs. I ain't never. I ain't been that type of person. I ain't never been that whole type of person. I'm, I'm very scary, and I always felt like I need to, you know, go to heaven. And it just. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going, I want to go to heaven. But that's the one reason why I've been single too is because, like you said, deceiving friends. You have to watch your mates. You have to watch your friends. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, because you know your, you know your, the, 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 yeah, they can't wait to fuck somebody, you know, and be laughing at you. That's why I was just telling my homegirl on my live, we were chit chatting, and she was talking about her friend, her, her boyfriend. Mm. I said, Well, how much did your friend know about your boyfriend? Oh, she knew a lot. Well, we always talk. Don't quit telling your business. Uh -uh, but here you go, here you go, here you go, where you got to get out your feelings with. You ready? Yep. You single to get married, so therefore you ain't got no business putting that much motherfucking emphasis on no motherfucking body. All that boyfriend shit, you better let that boyfriend shit go. Get what you single to get married. Okay, he fucked her, he fucked me too, okay? You single to get married. Hell, y'all are married on paper. My mama said, that's like free game. You single till you married, man. You can't let that shit stress you out or take you there. Mind over <laughs> matter. So what? She fucked him and I did too. Okay, let's go. No, Shakana's mm -hmm. not a virgin, baby. Shakana has been fucked and had good fuck parties with myself and my maid. Uh oh. I ain't no. saying no three. <laughs> shit. I don't do that. I'm saying I don't had a good fuck. I don't have me some good sexes in my sex in my life. Don't fucking play with me. Ain't nobody no virgins. We all bur uh. Nah, but I'm not letting you know how it be long, man. You single till you marry, okay? Know. 
Y'all hold me stupid as hell out here fighting about some dick. Dumb bitch. What you fighting about it for? These what about niggas, engaged? These what niggas be fucking other engaged? niggas' hoes all the time. Them niggas don't go fight. Them niggas go have something to eat and talk about your pussy. Y'all so hope y'all here ready to kill about the dick. These niggas don't That's even treat y'all the same way. Y'all hope you having so much animosity with a bitch because she done fucked the nigga you done fucked. So, yeah, you y'all hope he go out and get some money and go turn up. He gonna still fuck her. He gonna come back and still fuck you. So shut up. So shut up. And then y'all hope you trying to be a competition. Y'all hoes over here trying to be in competition instead of working together. Y'all bitch are crazy as fuck. I'm not mad, bitch. He fucked you, so he fucked me too. He gave you some money and gave me some too. I'm not mad at you about no motherfucking dick. And he probably was over that fucking Paul too, bitch. Now what y'all hoes gonna say about that? He ain't talking about when you sit up crying about him fucking you and her. What about when he fucking Paul too? Oh. They got quiet. It was a kiki for me. Okay, for real. I mm. always, I always, well, that's how I was, my mom, I have a lot of family members, and they always, you don't ever fight the other woman, and in her fault, especially she don't know, it's the man's fault. He told you what he <laughs> wants to tell you that you believe in him. Don't go jump on her. Y'all just figure out, and y'all gonna deal with this three-way shit. That's where the trade come in. That's the trade, because he can trade y'all asses back and forth. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all argue back and forth. He just, hey, I'm sitting up here boosting okay. this motherfucker up and this motherfucker ain't stunning you. Like I said, it's so funny how a man two men can fuck the same girl, y'all. Let me tell you what they gonna do. They gonna smoke a drink, have a drink, and talk about your pussy. Two women can fuck the same man. Y'all hoes wanna fight at doing all these niggas. I need about y'all hoes no car ain't getting nothing. Y'all like act like a fool. Man, yep. I be learned better than this. And I ain't fighting about no dick. It's a thousand dicks and ain't none of shit. And then when I realize they be fucking you, your friend, and they home away too. Oh, hell no. <laughs> but y'all bitches don't never go jump on the home while he fucking. Uh-uh. Better get on. Yes, it be. It's the truth, though. Yeah, because he ain't just fucking them, too. He fucking the nigga somewhere in the block, too. And you sitting up here crying about boy, him, bitch, I gave boy, y'all keep laughing at. He fucking that gay boy that keep putting your lace front song. Mm -hmm. That's what's going down. And guess what? And I know y'all hoes ain't out here fucking no nigga for no hair, dude. That shit been dead, bitch. Y'all bitches got to get y'all shit together. You should be able to get your own hair, nails, toes, and everything else done. Ho, you need a nigga for some bigger shit. Please don't tell me that no shoes and your hair done. That shit dead. Let's see. You should better do your own hair now. They got a whole bunch of YouTube videos on there to show you how to put a stocking on, glue that shit down with uh, that damn gotta be glued. You can do all that shit now on your own. YouTube got plenty of channels. Nah, they just need to get more than that out of these fuck, nigga, man. What a car is it? <laughs> Give me a car, bitch. And I want a new nice <laughs> car. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Don't come home with a wet pussy and a dry purse, people. It ain't, it ain't worth it. And I ain't telling y'all to sell no pussy. Don't sell you I pussy. I sure ain't telling y'all to sell no pussy. Nah, you're not a trick. You're not a trick, bitch. You're more like a bill. You're not a hoe. But you do got bills. But you do got bills. <laughs> and like I said, honey, please. Somebody rest you your food. I ain't spending this shit. If y'all in love, I'm happy for y'all loved ones. I ain't I'm very happy. happy. All I'm letting y'all know is, as women, we got to stop fighting about these men and being in our feelings about these men. Because when it's mm -hmm. vice versa, these men are not in their feelings about y'all. And I want yeah, I'm the end of our person. I stand with the women. I love the women, for real. I love men, too, but I love my women. We have uh -huh. to stop being upset and arguing and being in our feelings about what these men be doing, y'all. We have to stop. I love women because my mama is a savage. <laughs> And I have a whole bunch of sisters, a whole bunch of uh, cousins, a uh, girl cousin. And I have a whole school of uh, guys, too. But I know what women go through because I hear it, I see it, and I know when I'm in the clubs and I'm in drag or I'm out, I know the type of man that come talk to me and I'm like, yeah, I got a girl, da 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 da. I ain't got time for all that. You got to come to me knowing exactly who you are and what you. If you got a girl or boyfriend or a wife, I ain't got time for none of that. Yes, yeah, so a woman can't get her I'm own. And a man, I'm supposed to never be a help. 
But sometimes us as women, we get caught up with these men and we be worried about what they doing in their side life and their other life. And that ain't really your business because you're single to get married. You feel what I'm saying? When you get yeah. married, that's the headache you fight. But a lot of y'all women be out here mad at the next bitch because she not fuck this nigga. Don't nobody care. She fucked them okay and I fucked them too. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all to keep that shit copacetic. Get out your feeling about these motherfucking men because they not worth it. It, it ain't worth the fighting and stuff. They ain't worth hey, the fight. They ain't worth me and Don't my homegirl going to jump on another bitch about this bitch because he still going to fuck her. That's After true. you done beat up, he still going to go fuck her. He's going to still come fuck you. So y'all hold my way. Don't be being your feelings, girl. You might as well be like, hey, did you get the money? Well, I got my money. Did you get some? I got some. All right, girl. I'll call you in a minute. Yeah, you talking yeah. about because and, team back again. And don't get into that depressing shit if you want to be crying around the house. I'm telling that you, man, I ain't doing that, that shit. Because no he more. ain't crying over your ass. So why are you crying over him? He ain't losing no sleep. He's eating. He, he's well. Stop. No stress. You, know, you have to stop. So why you gonna do the, the, same thing? Thing? You you the more you pop up, you leaving things in your face. Yeah, but I'm just telling you what time is. You do what you want to do wrong. But y'all, I, I gave me a really nice schedule though. Shit, I ain't gonna play no games. I need to go do all that shit today. I did my own. Fuck that. I don't want the bitch doing shit to me. Why? Uh, Corona. Oh, okay, you ain't been outside. I've been outside, but I ain't been like in no nail salons and barbershops. I ain't done nothing that type of shit. I ride my bike for my baby. Man. That's what they do on Love and Hip Hop. They fight over dick, but you ain't seen me fighting over no dick. So, bitch, don't, nope. don't come out here talking about what you said about doing. I don't fight off this. I been stop doing that shit. I'm not even beefing with a bitch by the dick. Hey, you talking about, I'm going to tell you that hoe was tea. I'm in the glove that it takes you to get hot. But you know what? I smoke a lot of this. I don't have a bag around me. I smoke a lot of this shake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in California, we have a lot of weed stores and a lot of weed. So I get the shake of the shit because they give you more. Mm -hmm. um, but I get a big old ounce for um it's about 27 dollars, uh, you know, and it lasts me for about a month and a half, and I'll be good. Yes. So I don't need to spend 60 70 dollars for an eight, and then that shit gone about four days, or, I mean, four hours, and then I'm looking dumb again. Mm -hmm. I'm still the nickel dime, you know, type of person. I love the seeds and the skins. You, you gotta start doing this shit, you gotta start buying one You know, you got I don't know. My grandma always taught me you gonna smoke. You buy you a nuts and you ain't got to keep running to the weed man house every day. Hello. You know, and that's what she what always I taught me. If that's something that you want to do, then you buy enough of us. You ain't got to keep running back. You understand me? Keep going back. It's better like to stay out of the motherfucking weed. Man. You see what I'm saying? We ain't yeah, got to go back to him every day. When them five for 20 was good, and my weed man started selling a uh, quarter pound for 120, let me get a quarter pound. Period. And why I'm about to get way much more is a quarter pound for 120. I ain't got to see you for a hundred, two, three months. I'm good. I'm How about you it. shake the room, Reggie? Uh, what uh, you got? Uh, you gonna shake? How about I shake the room? What's shaking, Nay? Let me see you shake the room. Oh, Reggie, hey, Reggie, I don't. We don't hey, Reggie, 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 yeah, but girl, I don't want to hold up your time though. But it was a nice. But girl, uh, I enjoyed it. It was a nice with you. Thank you for letting us girls know today how we can get these men touch that little asshole. <laughs> I said that. It was a blessing, girl. He taught he taught us girls something. Like, he taught us something big. Like if you want your man to have an orgasm, you 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 rub that booty while he's in the neck. See, you get to the ball like and you get up under it. Yeah. And, and you play with it. Oh, no. And it's going to make his neck shoot through the ceiling. Uh, he smoked shake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, smoke, I, do, I smoke a lot of shake. I smoke a lot of shake, Reggie. Now, I do. It's, a, I, it's just a need for me to spend $60 every two hours because I'm smoking weed all the time. Well, you and I start smoking so Smoking with my friends just to be smoking. We just be smoking before we know it. That's 120 on weed. Stop talking about happy 4th of July. It's happy Black Day, girl. I shit, honey. This is when they... Mm -mm. When they... Uh-oh, them dogs in the start. You better get that motherfucker It's happy Black walk. Day, baby. No 4th of July for us. Remember, we're not celebrating that. Now, y'all better stop now. Well, baby, I'm sorry I talked too much, Jeff. I'm talking about me, baby. They say I talk too much.
I thought he said he. Oh, he probably talking about me. You know, they call me a he too. They be calling me bull diggers and shit. They mad. Period. If you don't fuck with somebody, why do you be on their shit? And I'm saying this because I got people on here that I see that be on my life too. And they always say some dumb shit. If you don't fuck with somebody, how do you spend your time on them? That don't make any sense to me. I don't care if it is a keyboard. I don't give a fuck about the social media. If you don't like them, you don't fuck with them because you don't know what they do. So if you could cut on somebody's shit and say something stupid and out of line, that means you're obsessed with them. Because the people I don't fuck with, I don't know what they doing. And nor do I fucking care. So if you really like to spend your time on somebody doing all that, you are obsessed, honey. It's scary, trying... honey. It's scary, y'all. Because guess what? People I don't fuck with, I don't go check it for them. If I, I see them on somebody else's page or something, I stroll, I don't throw it. It was cute. Right keep, keep, keep it moving. I ain't even, I'm not, I don't, I don't deal. So I'm not in my feelings. Yeah, but like, I don't fuck with them. That's just like somebody whoop your ass. Are you going to be on their shit trying to see what they're doing? No. So if you don't fuck with somebody, why bring your ass on their shit just to tell them? I don't fuck with oh, them. When you really want to say, bitch, I'm obsessed with you. I love you. I think you this. But you jumping on the bandwagon, ho. Yeah. Bitch, your bitch. Oh. Sit down, bitch. <laughs> Just sit down and enjoy the goddamn ride. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, you okay? <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Let, <coughs> Let me get it, get it set together. Hold on. Damn. You okay? Yeah. She's like, look at this punk, bitch. She wants some attention. She wants some attention. Football head. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, guys, you are correct. But people say shit. But they be so obsessed. That's why they be waiting for me to go live. That's why they wait for me to go live so they can just, what are they talking about? They want to know. Period. They want to know. And I just no gave sense. you the football here in all, all ways mm -hmm. that I could. Girl, you don't. I don't know. Uh, I was, they want it. Uh, I'm the person that did the end by oop. Huh? No, I had said end by oop earlier, and somebody was like, who was I? And I was like, oh, I'm the, well, just to help them out. <laughs> oh. I, did, I was in First Sunday with Ice Cube and Tracy Morgan. I was the masseuse Mordecai. Um, I played on The New Normal. With Nene Leakes, I was like the drag queen version of her. I was on RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I made the meme, and I oop. I'm the meme when somebody say, "Open up the door," and they look sideways. I'm the meme when yeah, somebody turn shots, and I say, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> and what other meme am I? He's I not advertising. I fuck with him. I ain't advertising. I want him to tell you who the fuck he is. He's my buddy. But I, they make the shit for me. I don't uh do none of that. I'm just trying to let the person know who I am. I could care shit fucking less. Because they ain't. I've been out by dirt. Way before jail. These motherfuckers. So I'm just trying to let y'all know who I am. It don't even matter because my uh Instagram page is locked. Because I don't give a fuck about followers. Followers don't do shit for me. Period. So just know that. I'm just like, just trying to, you know let people get familiar, but I ain't trying to see, I ain't trying to get no new followers. I ain't trying to follow nobody. I ain't trying to do all that. Child, we were just having, having this a conversation. Fuck these people. So just know that, yeah. This man that came on here and then like, and y'all, what y'all need to do for y'all, man, to stay with y'all and y'all coming on here bashing him? Oh, you know, I'm always here for the shit. That's but I'm shit. just saying, he done told you, I mean, I you, man. He done told you where to touch his booty hole at, and y'all go bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's 
if y'all into that thing. <laughs> y'all bitches better go be into it because y'all know y'all want y'all man to stay at home. Go touch his ass. So his that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna be he ain't gonna stay home. If you don't want to stay home, he ain't gonna stay home. Now he gonna stay home and they start playing with that booty. <laughs> That's probably why he been going outside. Uh -huh. <laughs> he know that bitch is open up to it. Uh, He's gonna be like, oh baby, they, I'm not going. When they bust out, uh, I'm going to the gym. You in the gym a lot. And ain't nothing in that gym but hard ass bodies. So I, he got to always in the gym. Like I had to, I had to think about it. What is in jail that keep making some of these people just keep going back to jail? Yeah, they did. After I had to break it down to one of my good homegirls that she just wasn't understanding. Girl, there's nothing in jail but dig, baby. Nothing in jail but dig. And holes. Booty. And pearls. Booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. Because let me tell you something. I ain't going to jail. I don't want to go. Ain't nothing but some pussy. I don't want no pussy. I ain't got time for that. I need to be able to cook my own food. I don't want no slosh. I don't want I don't want to be no either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna have to bend over. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Mm -mm. That ain't gonna work. Hell no, because it's something that you like. Because everybody can, nah. you can be legit and you can live a legit life. You keep throwing goddamn not set the dough you want to get in there. <laughs> you, you begging. Know what I found out? You begging to get over there and get fucked. <laughs> you over here doing stupid shit. You know if you ride down the street and you shoot some goddamn body, what they gonna do for you? Why you did? Cause you wanna get out there. You missing Brandon, goddamn it. You wanna go see Brandon? Pretty much. Yeah. That that's pretty much. Oh, we we going boys. I went. Well, I went to a party and it started off being a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was a guest of someone mm -hmm. who was invited. Well, when we got there, it was a nice birthday party. Everything was cool. You know, of course, it was a lot of guys. It was a few uh, girls in the house. But when certain people left, the party kind of shifted gears. And the buff men, who was, you know, I'm thinking, like, oh, damn, they straight. I'm like, okay, it's a mix. I'm just sitting back. Uh, they started having a little open party. And these are the buff, strong looking. Like you don't even you like oh he ain't good he ain't, he ain't getting down with that bullshit. Mm. Them big small motherfucker was over bent over them couch taking big old anaconda dicks up their ass and wasn't doing nothing but moaning like a bitch. Dang. <laughs> and I was so floored. Uh, bitch, we getting up out of here. Cause for one, if my boyfriend know I'm in something like this, all shit gonna break the band. And uh, I didn't know it was like this. He didn't know. My friend didn't know it either. He was like, oh, shit. But what I seen was a whole lot of strong ones bent over them couches, taking monsters up in the ass, but it was no problem. Not one ouch, not one hold up, not one ooh, ah. It was enjoyable. So be careful when they go to that gym. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And uh, Quit looking like drag queens, ladies, please. Please stop looking like us. <laughs> what are you saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of women who are out here. I don't know if they're not doing the look right, but a lot of them are doing it, but they look so drag queenish. Their makeup, there is so much makeup. Mm. And you know, it's not even like a subtle. Pop is just like everything is just so three dimensional. Like they have to hit the spotlight. Mm. They have on spotlight makeup. They you see they contour. You see they blush. You see their highlights. You see in all the creeps. You see everything so strong until you like whoa. Then the eyelashes. I mean the look that's in right. But a lot of it. A lot of women are not capturing the look. I think I don't know. It didn't look so strong. They look like a lot of drag queens. Um, not. I don't so it's say. okay to let them look like a drag queen. They want to look like drag. But, yeah, but see, but, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, they they do that, and then they use the, the whole 
you know, what's the tea, girl? Yes, 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 yes. I do that shit all the time, but I've been doing that shit. But I'm not you, though. Not you, boo. Everything I'm saying ain't true. Chicago. Look, I'm just letting you know I've been doing my job. I know. I, that's why I liked you from day one that I ever seen you on TV, Jen. You're fine. This I've is not been doing my... Uh, and you all look like a drag queen. But what I'm saying is don't be the same ones who will slap us in the face and tell us that it's wrong to be gay or it is oh. okay about have been getting beat up. But I'm like, y'all look like us and act like us. But then when they men come slide over here, warning, when they men come slide over here, because you're acting so much like us until it's become normal. Because they acted like this and they take us. Let me, I work at a place called Hamburger Mary's out here in uh, LA. And and it's a restaurant, drag, we do drag shows, brunches and all that. And there be so many women who bring their straight men to the clubs. Mm. And what happens is by the time the first performance done went around, we done got a message in our DMs from these men. And if it's not that time, after the end of the night, at the end of the brunch, they are saying, Oh, I enjoyed your show. Uh, I have to come back and see you. Where else do you perform? Baby, I know who you are. That was your wife right there. We just celebrated her birthday. And you're in my inbox asking me, where else do I perform? No, you shouldn't do that. Your wife should ask me that. Yes. So it be shit like that when women bring their gay men, I mean, their straight men into the gay bars to be, it's not all, but in some, some of women like to bring them into our environment. Mm. And then... They be like this, don't want to watch the show, but they be so insecure. But then they still be the ones in our shit. That's crazy. It's really crazy. It's girl, I got I got some stories. I honey, I've been around this motherfucker Jew joint, and it has been some shit on the piggly wiggly all the way down to the hanky dorky. It's look, look, Miss Mama, you better life. shut the fuck up. I ain't stole your lingo. Let me tell you something. I've been doing this shit for a long time. I told you, my friend Omar, who was rest his soul, did have back in the day, and I was his assistant for years. And that's how I learned my lingo, and that's why I like that. I've been liking gay men, gay men, men that wear wigs all my motherfucking life. So let me tell your little bit ass something. I'm older than you, nigga. You still a nice way. Fuck you talking about. Look, Miss Mama. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lil' Miss Mama's brown as a motherfucker. You know Lil' Miss Mama's? Uh-uh. You ain't never heard of Lil' Miss Mama's? Uh-uh. Is that one of the people you talk to? Yeah, I be on his, he a little badass little boy. I wasn't talking about you, the fuck. You don't see when you put that, look, I pin his little comment. Girl, let's be real. Y'all still the gays lingo and everything we do. Oh, okay. I know, I now I know you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's his little name, Lil Mamas. Lil Miss Mamas. <laughs> I never knew that. It's, it's, that it's, 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 um, it's me star on here, but he Lil Miss Mamas. Oh, okay. Oh, Where wow. Is this, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's. It's <laughs> butted in. Thank you, friend. Okay, but you know, this day, that's 4th of July. You too, no, it's not, we not celebrating 4th of July. I know we doing Black No. Black Day. <laughs> okay, good. No, you yeah. From women, real that's uh, no, we don't steal. I will say we can, we do, we do show how to spice it up. We don't steal anything because we always do everything to a higher standard. Meaning, oh, no, you ain't, you ain't gonna do that, we, huh? You ain't gonna do that now. Who ain't gonna do that? You ain't gonna put us down. I ain't gonna put you down. I'm talking about like when, when we. Like, if we got to show you how to walk down the runway, I don't want to hear that. We still, listen, we still women. Don't do that. No, I'm not, and I'm not putting down women. Don't I'm you just do talking that. about how she said somebody said that gay men steal from women, real ass women. And I'm saying, and y'all no, have stole don't. from real women. Y'all have stole all of our men. Well, we, we ain't stole y'all men. If y'all would have the kids and let the kids be who they are when they little y'all boys, stole y our men. Y'all is stealing. Y'all be stealing our men. We ain't stealing shit. You stealing? Our, you know you stealing our men. We ain't stealing your men. Your men are who they are. Y'all have been that's stealing you, our men. You need to realize. Man. You need to realize the men are who they are. Y'all just keep stealing our men. Your son got a little sugar in his pack. 
Yeah. You talking about y'all don't steal, y'all don't stole our lives. No, and you got to accept that ain't nobody stealing. Y'all have stole our lives. I'm sorry you can't find you a good woman, girl. We ain't stealing shit. They coming. Yeah, I have stole them all. Uh-uh, they just yes. they are. They were like that when they were born. Yeah, like, I'm stolen. You, you told me you ain't stolen from the woman. You took them in. I ain't took them in. Y'all ripped them you away. You did. You know how to suck his <laughs> dick better than me. You know how to, you know, you know how to let him play with his nipples and play with his booty. No. Uh-uh, y'all ripped them away, honey. Y'all took them in. Uh, I'm sorry, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. Can I get this right here for 27 dollars? It's so fucked up. This is a nice talking about that he's still nothing from us. They stole our men, y'all. Girl, we ain't stole oh, shit, bitch. You want you want to know how to you want to know how to get them back? I know how to get them back. I don't know. You just took the man. Let me, let me tell you how to get your man back. You first need to apologize for stealing from us. I'm not apologizing for Tell us you sorry for stealing uh -uh. our man. Sorry. Love you, love you, love you. But you won't get no apology over this. I tell you how to get them back. When the kids are born, and if you're a mother or father, and you're watching your kids, not your grandmother, not your sister, not your brother, watch your kids. And as soon as you realize that there's a little sugar in their tank, you go ahead and realize, this is my child, and talk to them to be upfront with themselves. So they won't go find a woman because if you talk about oh it's so bad to be gay, they won't hurt a woman and then they be going through the Shekinah syndrome. <laughs> y'all so all you know, the me. You so are you have to be honest with yourself to be honest with your we child. Don't have any more you see that your child it's is no going more me for us. They always it is. They out there. They out there. I don't know where, but they out there. A lot of them in jail. Well, you the ones that you said, day. listen, you, you tried to go out, it. wait a minute, you tried to go out and say you ain't stole nothing from us. I just wanted you to know you all have. We have stole it. We ain't thing. stole. How do we steal, baby, if they coming it's out? Because you and did. It, and, it, and then sometimes some of y'all, some women put them in our faces to where they want to take you, you stole. We ain't stole shit. You stole Girl, I don't want the man. I don't even, I don't even uh, deal with that. You I don't do the You stole. I don't do the, the undercover shit. I don't do the undercover Well, your homeboys, your homeboys, your homeboys stole them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to, what would you want me to do? How can I help you, sister? Tell me. Just tell me. I'm here for you. Anything you need. What can I do on my part? Just don't never you? say, just don't never say, you know, y'all ain't stole nothing from us no more. Don't say that no more. Okay. If that makes you happy, I want to It's going to make me better. Just don't ever say y'all ain't took nothing from the So y'all y'all can say, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Because y'all so took can our men. Can, can you say the same? Can you say the same? What do you want me to say? That, um, you know, straight women want me, uh, that, that, can you say straight women has taken our, our lingo? You straight women, we have took their lingo. Okay. And gay men, I guess we done stole gay men. See? Look at that. Look at communication peace. Now my friend she ain't crying no more. I can roll up again. Yes. It's my time to shine. But we quarantined though. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. What the bitch say? If I sew one more fucking dress outfit, if I glue in or gym tack another wig together. Paint the fucking wall, rearrange my furniture one more time. I think I'm gonna start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have done so much shit up in this bitch. I have enjoyed my life tonight with you today. I did too. It was a real good upbringer for me, Jeff. I had a good time. I did. I did. But um. Yeah, so you stay safe out there. And you stay safe, safe too, and I love you. And it's been yourself. real. And it was yeah. beautiful, and you fun as fuck. And thank you oh, for thank admitting you. to the fact that you all stole our men. And, and I, thank you for admitting to the fact that y'all stole our lingo. Period, because we did. And I, okay, right. And y'all stole our lingo too. <laughs> what lingo y'all got? Y'all stole the dresses and shit in the heels. We said lingo. What? 
<laughs> we talking to <laughs> So look, if that's the case, should, should, should gay men stop helping uh, straight women get dolled up? Never. Okay. So you see how we work? <laughs> you help us, we help you. We yeah, get you hey, dolled up. That's the only people's yeah, style. Like, you, you, uh, uh, you need that in your life. I'm sorry. See? No shade, look no tea. You and need, need, need a gay stylist, honey. You need a gay and stylist we, and you need a gay, we need you need a gay makeup artist. You need a motherfucking, I ain't trying to be funny. You need a gay hairstylist too. You need all the in your team. I'm not bullshit, which you need but them we, folks in we your need team. Each we need we each other. We need each other. We do need each other, though. It ain't no cap. That's, that's why I love everybody. That's why it's easier to love. Cause bitch, you can help me, I can help you. Yes, yeah, we need each other. That ain't no see? cap, baby. You got you a gay hairstylist. We, we, we you got you a gay makeup artist. If you got you a gay stylist, man, I'm not lying, y'all. Bitch, you win it. Ain't mm -hmm. no cap. Cause they're gonna make sure certain things gonna be different. And I ain't put I'm telling you what I know. And it's another love. You know what I'm saying? It's another kind of love it's, they give you too. It's a whole nother type it's of love. It's a whole nother love. type of love that they give you. Now, we do have some snakes in the grass. Oh, you got some snakes out there. There ain't no lie, but I'm just saying, right. that, like, you know, I got to get props what props do, like, yeah. In my life, in my life, and in my lifestyle, yeah. You need you a gay stylist. You need you a gay hair stylist. And you, need, know, you, need, and, and you need you a gay makeup artist. Now, they may can't always get to you, but it's good just to have them in your roller. <laughs> no, Rona. Wanna. It's good to have them in your roller dance, like you can call them and ask them certain things. I just ask them their opinions. That shit means something for real, and I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? And we, at least I tell you the truth. I swear I be. I ain't saying all the time that you got some great women that stylists too, like Sean Mills. Oh yeah. a lot of women that's great stylists. Now, yeah, you. I'm just saying it's just always good to have them in your roller deck as well. Like, you deal with your straight people, whatever you want to do, but it's also good to have them. They have lingos, and they have swags, and we can't take that from them. Like, they do stuff over the top. Like, what he said is true. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can always see your gay friends doing shit over the top, and that shit really be popping for some. He ain't yep. lying about that. Showtime. He's not lying about that. I'm not. It's all out of love. No, Sean you know, Nielsen is good. I try, to respect. I try to pay as much respect to women when I'm in drag and do the things I do because I have I have a mother who watches me. I have my aunties, my my nieces, everybody watches me. Mm -hmm. So I never try to do the other, you know, it, it ain't me anyway. I'm too scared. But I just rather, you know, try to play, do a, uh, represent the best way I can. You know, I'll be places and you can watch different, you know, people do different things, different drag queens do different things. Right. And I, that's my brain. I'm going to sit my ass down, glass of wine, nap and straw, and I'm going to get my jet. It's you know, I got to I gotta be respectful because I come from a respectful line of women. And I can't be just tearing them down because I'm out here being a prostitution JPR. Right. You know I mean? Period. But I love you, sister. And I love you too, babe. See you later. All right. Bye, Bye everybody.